Howdy, uh, I'm uh, Todd Carr from Lubbock, Texas, and I bought this pickup from Griner Ford in Casper, Wyoming back in 2000. It had 61,000 miles on it when I bought it. I was just a local rancher. He wanted something new, and so he traded this in, and, and I ended up with it. I've put the, the mirrors on it. I bought those from Barubies, Barubes in New Hampshire. I just put the mud flaps on, which is kind of a Wyoming, Montana thing, and then, of course, put the bell on the back because that's what bull haulers do. It's a Wyoming truck, but it's been in Texas for so many years, and I think it's probably like the warmer climate, but it still misses the wide open spaces of Wyoming like I do too. When I bought this truck, it had those little padded, um, I don't know what you call them, but, but like, I don't know, padded insulated things to go around the batteries, try to keep them warm. Things you don't need in Texas. Yeah, you really don't. And of course came with the block heater and stuff. And, and these old power strokes, they're not a real high compression engine, so they don't start when it's really cold anyways, or when they do, they, you know, they, they fog everywhere for mosquitoes. But I added the, um, call that bug screen it came with a winter front as well uh, don't need that much in texas but when it gets i don't know 30 or below you know i'll put it on just to be different it's a 1997 uh, just regular old f-250 they call it heavy duty uh, i guess compared to the years that came later it'll it'll bounce you around a little bit you know when you're on a rough road she'll remind you as far as i'm concerned rides fine some people just need to have some patience when i go over the railroad tracks that's all but otherwise, I put the, the two gear auxiliary gear vendors uh, transmission in it, so it gives me a double overdrive, and with those 410 gears, it, it really helps out on the highway. Anyways, but there, there it is.